Hey guys, so I haven't done any uh, videos for, I don't know, nearly a week now. And uh, I figured I'd just give you a quick uh, update and uh, say happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians there. It's uh, Sunday, so uh, technically I think tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but uh, nevertheless, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. So what am I working on right now? Well, I was doing a bunch of stuff, but nothing really film worthy. Um, I got some new parts. And what these are, are brand new stepper motors, high torque stepper motors for uh, the CNC router here. So to give you some idea of the difference in size, as you can see these are probably about three times as the depth of the other ones, like in terms of the black portion of them there. That gives them probably a little more than three times the torque. These ones are rated at, I think it's 420 ounce inches. Whereas those ones there are, I think, 128, if I remember correctly. Now, what else I've been working on? Well, I thought I might mention uh, the Suburban there. Uh, last Monday, I took the lamps to market, and uh, it performed great. The new shocks did help a lot with the uh, handling. But I think I'm going to have to budget next year to... Um, do some of the suspension here. I don't know why I'm showing it. It's not like you can see it, but but uh, I think what I'm going to do is budget to uh, you know do new ball joints, new uh, tie rod ends, you know, new drag link, and go from there. Because the steering still seems a little imprecise in that thing. But uh, hey, you know, uh, it worked great. I'm very happy with that thing. What else have I been working on? Well, I was doing some work on the Suburban. The power door locks don't seem to work, so I pulled the one out of the driver's door, and from what I can see, uh, they just completely, you know, like the electrics are working via the key fob, which is weird, but not via the, the buttons on the, uh, on the armrests. And uh, in any case, it seems that these things, they just don't have the power that they used to. I took this one apart, and uh, swapped the brushes around to the, you know, unworn side, but it didn't change the power. And I suspect that the permanent magnet inside these things, you know, basically basically becomes weaker with time. You know, like if they get heated, they uh, they lose some of their magnetism and so on. So I'm gonna have to buy a new set of these. And unfortunately, even Rock Auto, they're through 30 bucks Canadian a piece. So that sucks, but. I got to do the four. <laughs> Oddly enough, the hatch or the barn doors work work fine there. Uh, next thing, what am I doing with this thing? I honestly, you know, like I'm not. I haven't done anything with this since I last showed it to you guys, and I'm really feeling very, very poorly motivated to work on it. And I seriously, I'm thinking that if somebody gave me a decent offer for this truck, I would probably sell it on. So. If you're southwestern Ontario and you want a 7.3 diesel Ford pickup, 2000, you know, like make me an offer and if it's reasonable, let it go. And uh, tires don't go with it. And if you're too cheap, I don't think that the bed goes with it either. But nevertheless, you know, hey, if you're here, let me know. Next thing, well, I'm just going over the things I'd like to work on. I don't seem to find the time. This thing. It's another CNC project. And what this one is, is the buildlog.net, uh, you know, basically homemade <laughs> laser engraver. And I've got most of the parts for it. The only part I don't have is I don't have the laser tube and the power supply for it. And I think I will get a new CNC controller for it, but I'll test it with my existing one. But what I do have is I do have a one watt laser diode that certainly would be adequate for, you know, marking uh, paper or even cutting paper or uh, it might even work for engraving uh, Lexan and things like that. But I'll try that out and I might be building that. Uh, I really want to work on it, but I'm kind of torn with, you know, maybe I really should be working on this thing regardless of what I intend on doing with it. Anyways, so what else is going on here? Well... Getting ready to scrap out the uh, Ford F-150. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It's pretty windy here today, but 
Anyways, I took the cap off the F-150, put it on here, and found out that the cap is actually a hell of a lot wider <laughs> than uh, will work on this uh, truck. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'd rather not let it scrap out. Still have to clean out Vicky's old horse stuff out of the interior here. But uh, otherwise, you know, I want to pull the seats out of it, and that's about it. And I want the tires off of it as well. Oh, yeah, my neighbor's son, or not neighbor's son, but friend's son, wants the doors out of this thing. And oddly enough, that's the one decent thing about this truck. The doors aren't too bad here. They're not actually perforated. They're crusty, but this is actually the worst of the two. If you're wondering why it's not worth saving this thing, I don't know if you can see that. But there's no floor left there anymore. You're basically, you're standing on the carpet here. And uh, that's pretty typical of the whole of this truck. Yeah, you can see right there, it's completely opened up. So yeah, this truck is pretty much rusted out toast. But hey, if you're in Southern Ontario, or Southwestern Ontario, I guess technically is what this is, and you need some good glass or some good rear window glass, that's here. And, bed is pretty much toasted but I don't think that the floor in this thing is actually as bad like it was protected with a bed liner which sometimes works against you ah well anyways so made in the US anyways so there you go that's the update for this weekend a little rambling there and uh, all that that thing is sitting right there tucked up against the building sitting on its tarps there so that it have grass growing up around it and uh, here's something funny about that the uh, bolt pattern on the tires for this thing is pretty much exactly the same as the Suburban so I kind of was half I didn't told Vicki this because <laughs> she won't want me spending more money on the Suburban but I was looking at used rims used factory rims for the Suburban and uh, if that's the case, then the older rims could go on that thing. At least until I find something better for it. But anyways. So apart from that, guys, I think that's it for today. Or at least all I'm going to talk about today. I got some various and sundry little tasks to do around here. Uh, you know, it's a nice, nice, well, it might be the last nice weekend we get this year. And... Uh, I'd like to make the best of it, so I was doing a bunch of outdoor work there, and uh, I'll continue with that today, probably. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and happy uh, Thanksgiving.